all sorts of deliciousness on your feel good breakfast show now uh, let's talk decor for a second following a decor instagram account serves as a very good way of inspiring yourself in home decor but have you ever wished to maybe become a decor instagrammer yourself well don't worry we have you covered we've joined we are joined in studio by dylan tomage to give us advice on how to become a decor instagrammer yourself dylan so good to have you on the it's show this morning again. would i be correct in saying that taking pictures of decor, images rather, is a completely different beast to taking selfies or any kind of other photo. Most definitely. It yeah. is the most important thing to do is you want to inspire your followers. You want to create a story that is beautiful and simple at the same yeah. time. I know, I love that, creating a story, because that's essentially what you're doing. But now once you've created the story, you've also got to give a, a kind of a caption or a hashtag to that story to put your work out there. What would you suggest? So the best thing to do is, I think you need to break it down into different segments. So look at the hashtag. The hashtag is, when you start typing the hashtag, choose the most frequently used hashtag. Yeah. And the second thing to do is, when you post, consider who your follower basis is. Mm -hmm. Are they Northern Hemisphere or Southern Hemisphere? So if it is like that, look at posting early in the morning right. and like mid-afternoon so you actually get the best of both worlds. Okay and of course you're using words that are relevant to your post curation, interior design, happiness, classic, texture, textiles, things like that. 110%. Very interesting. Now you also mentioned time because I heard that the time of day that you post is also very very important. For South Africa, yes. when is the best time to post a picture on Instagram? So for me, based on the following, it would be early morning and late afternoon just to make sure that you're capturing the both southern and northern hemisphere. Okay, very interesting. All right, so let's talk about your favorite images that you ah, put online yourself because this. I have stalked your page. <laughs> put it out there, I have stalked it. So let's take a look at some of your favorite images. Fantastic. Maybe we can get the first one on the board over here. Ah, so this one for me over here is all about layers. When oh, you look at the space, wow. it tells a beautiful story and how the different components come together. So you have uh, starting in the foreground and then going back and further back into the image. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, and this is one of and <gasps> this one over here, which is really great, is the behind the scenes, yeah. which is really cool as well. So people love to know the story behind things. Yeah. So other than posting the perfect image, you want to show them how it actually looks before it actually is the final image. Very so the behind cool. the scenes is great. Behind the scenes is absolutely amazing. <gasps> love. Ah, again, this one over here is all about uh, the, the 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 lighting and how the light. You can see as you go further down the passages, mm. the light really shines in really beautifully. Yeah, um, I like it. It's a room within a room yes. within a room. Very cool. And this one for me is the perspective. The perspective here is really important because what you do is you pull it back and you can actually see the whole context of uh, the image and what the the interiors come through. Mm. And again, the behind the scenes. We which love is behind the exactly. scenes. South Africans always like you know, being on the inside looking in. You exactly, know, like, everybody wants to hear the story. And there's another in, one yeah. behind the scenes, which is very, great. Very, very cool. Um, oh, thank you so much, Dylan. Now, uh, when we come back a little bit later on, Dylan's going to be styling up a shelf and, of course, showing us how exactly to capture the perfect Instagram photo. So you're going to be taking us through all of the steps. It's going to be absolutely amazing.